right at the team on three. One, two, three. Teams! And sitting outside Jones AT&T Stadium after a 49 to 14 win, we're sitting here with DJ Johnson, and there's a lot of stars in this ball game when you beat a team like that in West Virginia. But the defensive side of the football, just talk about the the way you guys were able to work today. I mean, really, it was just it started with the D line, the defensive line, and then it just came to us. You know, we were, we were able to take away his initial read and then uh, make him do other things. You know, as uh, we talked about before before this game, we had to make him feel uncomfortable, and that's what we were able to do that. Hey, that D real. Let him know, man. Keep bowling, dog. We've seen Geno Smith do really unbelievable things all season long. You guys made him look pretty ordinary. Doesn't throw for 300 yards, just the the one touchdown. When you looked at this game going into it, were you intimidated at all by that West Virginia offense? Oh, never. Uh, you spoke with me earlier, man. I told you, I, I enjoy these games. For me, I just get pumped up. I'm excited about it. This game wasn't able to get a turnover, which was a little bit, you know, uh, unsatisfactory, but we came up with the W, man. We played a great ball game. Talk about looking at your offense and watch them work, put up 49 points, and and uh, for a guy like Seth Daigie to kind of come back the way he did. Hey, man, I told the offense, I said, Daigie, I said, I promise you, I said, as long as y'all continue to score, they won't score more than 21 points. I said, I promise you that. I actually told them it wouldn't be more than 14. <laughs> but <laughs> Hey, you were right. Yeah, right. <laughs> they were able to come out and play great ball, great ball. I mean, Daigie was able to go out and have fun and be himself. Scrambled a couple of times. I've been waiting for that. Yo, I've been waiting for it. You know, and to see him do that, man, it just let me know that he was loose out there and he was having fun. <laughs> It's been a while since we've seen kind of a signature win at home. The students rushing the field, the pandemonium afterward. How big is this for this program, do you feel like? It's huge. I mean, uh, like for us, I mean, for us, we, we have to go out there and continue to play. I mean, this is one game. It's not like we won the Big 12 title already or anything like that. We just, we were able to knock off a rank opponent. So for us, it's a huge win. But I mean, next week is next week. You know, we got to prepare for that. We got to continue to come out with the same mentality, the same aggression, and continue to get better each week. Was this a statement, though, to the rest of the Big 12 that you guys are for real? It was a statement for us, you know. Uh, we, we, we definitely made a statement, and whether they take it as a statement or not, that's on them. But that just lets you know, uh, be prepared when you come you know, to play Texas Tech. Very much looking like the second-ranked defense, maybe in the, even the top-ranked defense in the country today. DJ Johnson, appreciate your time and congratulations, you. man. No you called it when everybody else didn't. Yeah. <laughs>